Hi students. In the previous class, I discussed about the uh, determination of uh, molar conductivities of strong electrolytes at infinite dilution by using one of the equation that is D by Huckel Onsager. According to D by Huckel Onsager equation, what is the uh, formula? The molar conductance of electrolyte at given concentration is equal to molar conductance of electrolyte at infinite dilution minus B into root C. That is the D by Huckel Onsager equation. Where intercept give molar conductance at infinite dilution, it is useful to determine molar conductances of strong electrolyte at a infinite dilution. That is not useful to determine molar conductances of weak electrolytes at a infinite dilution. Okay, the molar conductances of weak electrolytes at infinite dilution that determined by using the second one more law is there, one more concept where that is called as Kolderas law of independent migration of ions. What is the law? Simply it is called as Kolderas law. Kolderas law, otherwise Kolderas law of its full form Kolderas law of independent migration of ions. Kolderas law of independent to migration of ions. Okay, it is useful to the which one to determine the molar conductances of weak electrolyte where condition is there at infinite to dilution at infinite dilution for example uh, it is mainly based on the which concept which is basically generally at infinite dilution at infinite dilution the electrolyte what is there that undergo complete dissolution that means so that undergo complete dissociation whatever it may be Whenever it undergo complete dissociation, every ion that makes the some conductivity towards the electrolyte, okay, that is irrespective of nature of uh, in which it is attached with the other one. That means, that means for example, here hydrochloric acid is there, SCL is there, okay. In the SCL, H plus ion conduct the some conductivity and the chloride also conduct conductivity. For example, one more example, acetic acid is there, CH3COOH. Okay, CH3 CO minus here CO minus O H plus O. In this one H plus O Cl minus O. Here it is a strong acid SCL actually. It is a weak acid. But at infinite dilution, at infinite dilution, the conductivity of H plus is equal to the conductivity of H plus O in this acetic acid. Okay, so that's why irrespective of nature of O and the, which element it is associated. Okay, here acetic acid is weak. It is a strong even though the conductivities of H plus so in both are same at which at infinite dilution. For example, one more example in case of NaCl is there, sodium chloride, in this Na plus Cl minus so. What is the conductivity exhibited by uh, this chloride ion for the sodium chloride? In the SCL also exhibits the same conductivity. The conductivity of Cl minus so that is equal to the conductivity of chloride in this one. Okay, molecules are the different. Nature of the molecules are the different, even though the ion exhibits the same conductivity, same ion always exhibit same conductivity at infinite to dilution. Okay, that's why you are independent of migration of ions, independent, but that is not depends on the nature of the compound, not depends on the nature of the compound, the same ion always exhibit the same conductivity, okay, irrespective of nature of the compound in which that is there. Okay, now, next, so what is meant by Kolderas law? Based on this concept, Kolderas defined the, uh, one of the uh, definition, the definition is the uh, molar conductivity of, uh, conductivity of electrolyte at infinite dilution is sum of molar conductivity of uh, all ions uh, present uh, in a given electrolyte uh, at infinite dilution, where that is called as Kolderas law. It is simply sum of the molar conductivities of all ions at infinite dilution. Sum of molar conductivities of all ions. Sum of molar conductivities of
that is the definition of Foucault rush law simple definition it is a sum of molar conductivities of all ions of electrolyte at infinite dilution where that is simply called as a cold rush law that is the molar conductivities of electrolyte for example for example here ax and by it is a one electrolyte consider ax by it is one electrolyte where x and y are a coefficients of stoichiometric coefficients of both a and b generally it is at infinite dilution it is dissociated into which one its ions okay for this one x is the stoichiometric coefficient of a x into a power y plus and y into b power x minus generally charges of a and b remember one thing that the charge of a is charge of a is stoichiometric coefficient of b the charge of b is the stoichiometric coefficient of x so in this one so here y plus where y plus which one the that is stoichiometric coefficient of b that is charge of a okay x is the stoichiometric coefficient of a x is stoichiometric coefficient of a but its charge is stoichiometric coefficient of b okay remember that is in form also in case of here charge of it is stoichiometric coefficient of a okay so this is the these are the ions number of a plus a y plus ions number of b okay it is stoichiometric coefficient it is generally ions okay na uh, for this one according to kolderas law according to kolderas law the molar conductance of this electrolyte at infinite dilution at infinite that is represented with to uh, zero or otherwise infinity infinity okay at infinite dilution of which one a x b y the molar conductance of or otherwise it written as uh, molar conductance that's why represent m of a x b y it is totally okay the molar conductance of ax by at infinite dilution that is meaning of this symbol meaning of symbol is molar conductance of ax by at infinite dilution that is equal to according to definition sum of molar conductivities of all ions sum of molar conductivity what are the ions are there with respect to a x into number of ions okay x into the molar conductivity of a y plus molar conductivity it is also lambda small lambda okay lambda for the ions that is lambda it is also lambda okay both are the lambda okay uh, a y plus at infinite dilution plus y into the molar conductivity of uh, b x minus at infinite dilution so this is the formula okay na so according to definition of molar can be sum of the molar conductivities of all ions if it is electrolyte so according to definition sum of the molar conductivities of all ions that is equal to the which one the molar conductivity of electrolyte to at infinite dilution here x and y represents okay x and y represents which one stoichiometric coefficients they are stoichiometric coefficients stoichiometric coefficients of both to uh, these two ions next one more thing. for example uh, in case of molar conductivity of hcl molar conductivity of hcl at infinite dilution that is equal to molar conductivity of hcl at uh, dilution here hcl one is to one ratio is there that's a simply the molar conductivity of h plus at infinite dilution and the molar conductivity of cl minus so at infinite dilution for example molar conductivity of a barium chloride molar conductivity of barium chloride bscl2 okay at infinite dilution that is equal to the molar conductivity of barium chloride at infinite dilution that is equal to what's the formula ba plus 
to Cn minus. That's the molar conductivity of ohm Ba plus 2 at infinite dilution plus 2 into molar conductivity of ohm Cl minus 2 at infinite dilution. Molar conductivity of Ba Cl2. Okay, now these are the molar conductivities. These are molar conductivities. Sometimes so are uh, given like that to mobilities. Mobility. What is meant by cold rest? Simply sum of molar conductivities of all ions of electrolyte at infinite dilution. At infinite dilution. Because every ion makes the some conductivity towards its electrode irrespective of nature of the electrolyte. Irrespective of nature of electrolyte. Okay, now, so these are ionic conductivities. Sometimes ionic mobility, where mu is there, where mu term indicates mu, where that is ionic mobility. Where ionic mobility is different from ionic conductivity. These are the ionic conductivity. With lambda, cation or anion that indicates ionic mobility, ionic conductivity. Ionic conductivity. Okay, relation between these two. The relation between the ionic mobility and ionic conductivity where the relation is uh, ionic mobility that is equal to ionic conductivity by f faraday faraday that means from this one lambda is written as the ionic conductivity is written as which one mu f ionic conductivity is equal to ionic mobility into faraday ionic conductivity is equal to Ionic mobility into Faraday. Okay, for example, if it is a cation, lambda C, that indicates cation. If it is cation, it is written as mu C into F. And that is the ionic mobility of cation is equal to, sir, ionic conductivity of cation is equal to ionic mobility of cation into Faraday. For example, it is anion. Okay, anion, it is written as the ionic mobility of anion into Faraday. Ionic mobility of anion into Faraday. Okay, now the relation between the ionic mobility and ionic conductivity. Ionic mobility is equal to ionic conductivity by Faraday. That's so in terms of the ionic mobility, the same formula is written as the same formula. Okay. In terms of ionic mobility. Substitute in this one for this one. The ionic mobilities are given instead of the ionic conductivities. So, what is the formula? X into. So, it represents which one? The ionic mobility of cation. Ionic mobility of cation is equal to which one? It's ionic mobility into F. That's why F into the mu A Y plus. The ionic conductivity is written as Faraday into ionic mobility plus Y into the it represents which one? Ionic conductivity of anion. Ionic conductivity of anion is equal to again written as it's Faraday into the ionic mobility of B that is X minus. Okay. The ionic mobilities are given, this is the formula. The ionic mobilities are given, this is the formula to determine the molar conductivity of a given electrolyte to at infinite to dilution. Okay, so it is the simple formula for the ionic mobility. It is also molar conductivity of electrolyte that is AXBY. 
at infinite dilution. It is a one formula, it is another formula. Okay, if the ionic conductivities are given for the cation and anion, so this is the formula. If the ionic mobilities are given, ionic mobilities are given, so this is the formula to determine molar conductivity of electrolyte. Next, one more formula. It is molar conductivity. What is the equivalent conductivity of electrolyte to at infinite dilution? Equivalent to conductivity. For example, in case of equivalent conductivity, equivalent conductivity, uh, it can be written as okay, no? equivalent conductivity. For example, the equivalent conductivity of barium chloride. Okay, notice that. Okay. equivalent conductivity of barium chloride at infinite dilution that is equal to that is equal to equivalent conductivity okay so that is written as in case of the molar conductance for example in case of molar conductance it is written as which one first of all write this one which one that is the molar conductivity of Ba plus 2 okay at infinite dilution plus 2 2 into there are the two chloridons are there molar conductivity of chloride ion no at infinite dilution for the same the equivalent conductance is equal to equivalent conductivity of barium chloride the equivalent to conductivity of barium chloride equivalent weight of the barium chloride is so what is the charge of the barium plus 2 that's why 1 by 2 into the ionic conductivity of Ba plus 2 at infinite dilution plus so what is the charge of the chloride minus 1 that's so by 1 by 1 means that is simply 1 the molar con conductivity of chloride ion at infinite dilution. This is the formula. Okay, so this is the formula. So here this formula represents here the difference of these two. Remember that is okay. In case of equivalent conductance, so charge that is one by two into one by two into we know that in case of the determination of the equivalent weight, atomic weight by valence factor. Here valence is the two. That's why by two. Here, valence is 1. That's by 1 simply. So, it is the equivalent conductance of the same electrolyte, barium chloride. It is a molar conductance. Molar conductance equivalent. That is the difference of both these two. Okay. So, here it is a molar conductance. Equivalent conductance. Here, ionic mobilities are given. So, this is the formula. If the ionic mobilities are given, this one is a formula. These formulas are important. Okay. We know that the relation between these two equivalent conductance into molar conductance. Molar conductance is equal to uh, n factor into equivalent conductance. In the previous class, I told you the relation between the molar conductance and equivalent conductance. What is the relation between these two? Molar conductance. Molar conductance. Okay of electrolyte is equal to valency factor into molar conductance of electrolyte at to equivalent conductance. Molar conductance is equal to valency factor into equivalent to conductance. Okay, this is the relation. If the, we know that the molar conductance, so then we calculate simply by using this formula. Okay, uh, here one of the example. One of the numerical based on this formula. <clears throat> okay.
for example uh, calculate note down the one of the numerical calculate calculate equivalent conductance and molar conductance of calcium chloride calculate equivalent conductance and molar conductance of calcium chloride at a condition this represents which one infinite dilution infinite dilution infinite dilution <coughs> calculate equivalent conductance and molar conductance of calcium chloride at infinite dilution with data given here the ionic conductivity of calcium ca plus 2 at infinite dilution that is 120 and ionic conductivity of chloride at infinite dilution that is 76 where ionic conductivity of calcium and chloride is given ionic conductivity of calcium and chloride is given where question is what are the equivalent and molar conductivity of the calcium chloride at infinite dilution so first find out the equivalent conductance for this one what is the formula the equivalent conductance of okay equivalent conductance of calcium chloride at infinite dilution that is equal to equivalent what is the formula calcium what is the charge of the calcium calcium chloride dissociated into cu plus ca plus 2 and 2 cl minus okay that's the charge of the chloride is calcium is plus 2 that's why 1 by 2 into ionic mobility of calcium ion at infinite dilution plus with respect to chloride charge is 1 that's why that is one is the coefficient 1 into uh, that is the equal the ionic conductivity of chloride at infinite dilution don't multiply with the stoichiometric coefficient in case of equivalent conductance simply write the valency factor in the denominator okay uh, no need to the write the charge so here uh, substitute 1 by 2 into what is the ionic conductivity 120 Plus so where so it is sixty plus so seventy six. How much it is? One thirty six. That is equivalent conductance of which one? Calcium chloride. Equivalent conductance of calcium chloride. Okay na? Equivalent conductance. Next one more question is there. Molar conductance. Molar conductance simply what is the relation? The molar conductance. the molar conductance of calcium chloride at infinite dilution is equal to what is the formula n factor into equivalent conductance n factor into equivalent conductance n factor into equivalent to conductance of calcium chloride we know that the equivalent to conductance of the calcium chloride how much have to yes 136 what is n factor n factor means charge okay with respect to calcium what is the charge plus 2 with respect to ion what is the total charge minus 2 simply charge of the one of the ion that's the simply that is the valence factor 2 into what is the equivalent weight of the <coughs> equivalent conductance of calcium chloride at infinite dilution of time 136 that is 2 7 2 okay that is the equivalent molar conductance of calcium chloride is how much 272 its equivalent conductance is how much 136 molar conductance is also calculated by using the which formula one more uh, method is there to determine molar conductance what is the formula the molar conductance of calcium chloride at infinite dilution is equal to okay uh, with respect to molar conductance the conductivity of ca plus 2 at infinite dilution plus 2 so into molar conductance of chloride ion at infinite dilution okay so calcium 120 plus 2 into that is 76 120 plus 76 to 27152 that is 272 272 
it is a one mole formula molar conductance it is a equivalent to conductance that is the relation between molar conductance and equivalent conductance this new work is also objective point of view important okay it is according to which law colder's law of migration of independent independent of the migration of ions what is the colder's law simply the molar conductance of electrolytes at infinite dilution that is equal to sum of the uh, ionic mobility of all ions in a given electrolyte at a infinite dilution that is called as colder's law of independent of migration of ions so for this one uh, there are the some of the applications also there uh, i will explain that is in the next class thank you